So I made this in Blender. Here's how. This whole thing is stupid simple. You basically start with the default cube and extrude out their faces. I deleted the end caps here so I could weld them later or like automatically. I, I don't know. I probably explain why in the longer video on Patreon where I teach this stuff. But I also have a free tier where you can grab this ebook if you want, but whatever. Now, if you're still here, you can add an array modifier to that cube we started with and jack that count number up. Once you have a string of them, Add in a simple bend modifier and play with it until you get a circle or something, and then duplicate it and get lots and lots more of them. I made lots of them. You can make a lot of them too if you want. I played around until I got something I liked, then made another array and made it into a tower of this stuff. Once I had a tower, I found a camera angle I liked and threw in some light and some fog. Once I got something I could work with, I went in for the detail. Being that this is just a really simple piece of whatever based off of the default cube, I went back to the default piece and just added more detail. I just took inspiration from AI because like that's where all creativity comes from now, I, I guess. I'm, not, I'm just kidding. I just rip off Sid Mead like we'd all been doing for the last 40 years manually because I still can. Cool. Now there's a whole lot more detail in there. Look, look, lots of it. I took this opportunity to play with lighting. I'm, I'm never satisfied, so... La 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 la. Okay, at some point I had to stop and move on to shading. There, I shaded it to look like metal. Metal is easy, but it can lead to... That's what they told us as kids. It was all projection. I digress. That's a Gen X joke, so, like, who cares? Now I animated the camera to move through this and spin and stuff. It's not much, but it's, like, all cinematic. Yeah. I rendered it out and took it into DaVinci Resolve because Nuke is really expensive for YouTube drivel like this. I explained the whole post-process and nailing the look on Patreon, and I also have a whole video up there where we use USB to take this thing into Unreal and render it out and then back into Resolve. It's there if you want, along with lots of other cool tricks and stuff. The link's below. There. Not bad for a cube. Enjoy.